Okay, everyone. I can hardly believe I'm about to say this, but it's harvest day. It is harvest day. Ah! <laughs> All right, so today is day one of harvest. Gallo has requested 14 loads. And just by my guessing and estimating, I think that's gonna be about 35 acres, depending on how much tonnage we get, but that's gonna be my guess. So we could finish over half tonight. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to have two harvesters running and there are four tractors and gondolas running or there will be running. I am going to do my very best to get as much as I can on video for you guys. I am just so excited. I can't even express how I'm feeling, but I do just want to take one moment to say thank you to so many people. I, I just, I have to get this in there because it is so important to me. I want to say thank you to all my friends and family who have really believed in this since it was on paper and it wasn't even a thing yet. I want to say thank you to everybody who bought my OG Beaver Vineyard shirt back in 2018, just when I was starting planting. And thank you to everyone who has followed my journey on social media, whether you've been here a year, a year and a half, or you're just finding me today. Thank you for supporting me. This is so surreal. I can't believe I planted this vineyard in April 2018, and here we are ready to harvest. So seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all your love and support. And here's to many more years of success, I hope, right? All right, let's get started. So what is pretty crazy, so my, um, with Gallo, they will be doing all the trucking and look how crazy this is, guys. We have got five trucks here that came yesterday that are ready to go and it just, it like feels so real and I, I don't even know why it feels this way. It's like I do corn you know i harvest corn with my dad and we have the trucks and i mean it's exciting when we're harvesting but this is just like a whole nother feeling so we've got trucks here ready to go we've got five and like i said our goal is to do 14 loads tonight and i see some of the workers pulling in right now that we're going to be prepping the harvesters <sighs> we'll see i hope i get to ride on a harvester i mean i feel like i should be able to right <laughs>
So if you guys watched my last video where we did the hand picking, this is called the rachis. And when they hand pick, they cut this entire thing off. Which I can't even, oh my gosh, you see how strong they are. I can't even pull them off. So that just shows how strong they are. They have a knife and they cut them off. This is the rachis. So the machine harvester just shakes it so hard that all the grapes come off. So you can see the rachises are left behind and the grapes are gone. Wow. So another thing is a lot of people ask why we harvest at nighttime and the answer is the temperature. We don't want the grapes to start fermenting. So that's why it's done at night. And I've also gotten asked a lot why we do machine harvesting. And the reason we do machine harvesting is because it just depends what wine your grapes are going into. And mine warrant machine harvesting versus hand picking. All right, empty trailer, gondola. Oh, it smells good. A third harvester is pulling in right now. Now things are really gonna start moving. It is 4.17 a.m. This is normally, this is normally what time I'm waking up. One thing I have been doing um, is I've been making all the truck tags and then we've got these jugs of potassium that we put in every gondola. And my understanding is this keeps the grapes from turning brown while they're getting trucked around. So I've been putting the potassium out so it's ready for the gondolas, filling out truck tags, and uh, trying to stay awake. Not a whole lot to see here in the dark, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get you guys a little bit more. Also, sorry I got a light so you guys can see me but it's also blinding so i don't know <laughs> it's a win for you guys and i can't look at you directly because it'll blind me okay all right we're getting ready to fill the last truck of the night this is going to be load 14. we got gondola there ready gondola here ready and it's an average of one gondola per, per uh, tub. Four gondolas, four to five gondolas per trailer. All right, it's almost over. Took my watch off, I don't know what time it is, a little after six, I think. And we started last night. <gasps> So one thing you're gonna see this leg come down and Matt was explaining that to me earlier but it was in the dark about how it's a safety feature. It comes down so that way as the weight goes up, this whole thing won't tip over.
this is a whole nother splash zone. These should roughly hold five tons of grapes each. How about that? It smells so good. 